forest and I'm just gonna put it in the bushes after we're done filming. We're gonna go for a 13K run. Show us the drone. It's a new one. Yeah, so I had the DJI Mavic Mini 1 or Mini 2. It's like the cheapest drone you can get. Yeah, one right? of the cheapest ones. And then we just got the, uh, the Mavic Air 2. So not Mini, just the big boy. Big propellers. It's a big dog. 4K footage. This drone is actually still two years old, which is crazy. It's way more advanced for me. And it has uh, pano photos but like vertical, like this 1920. Okay, that's advanced. So we're gonna bring it. Kai's gonna try to fly it. Am I? Yep. All right. All right guys, welcome to episode four of the half marathon series. We're four weeks out from the marathon. I guess starting fr uh, Sunday, it's Friday today. Starting Sunday, it is officially four weeks out. So I'm gonna talk a bit more about how I'm feeling in this video and the progress I've made so far some of the struggles and some of the wins. That's it, we're doing a long run today. 13K, right, 13.1K, yep. eight mile run in the demo forest here in North Van. The run fit. Did you tell them about the new tat? New tat, new ink, it's yep. peeling, but it's Atlas. Atlas, the Titan God, symbolizes endurance, carrying the weight of the world. Super fucking dry and peeling right now. <laughs> I wore the the black socks for the first time in a while because it rained a bunch last night. And every time I bring white socks, they get so dirty. So black socks today. Yes, sir. Ten. Three more to go, 3.1. 13.1. Nah, it's sweaty right now. South Dakota, 605. Nah, I'm just kidding. We're in BC. We're going to, uh, what's the island called? Hardwick. We're going to Hardwick Island, which is like, yeah, on Vancouver Island. Excited. We'll be relaxing. No service out here, so vibing. All right, we're loaded. Let's go. <laughs> One trip. One trip, baby. One trip. <laughs> We're all here for a good time. <laughs> Yeah, so I know, warm. it's super warm. Yeah, it was, it was gonna be like bad, and then I went, no, it's gonna be really bad. All right, so we are about four weeks out from the half marathon. Yeah, things are going pretty well. Like, no, no complaints really. I feel like I'm pretty ready. You know, I feel like I'm at a point where the half marathon is it's not that daunting. I feel like a full marathon, I'd be a bit more nervous. But since I've already ran a couple 16Ks, I feel like the 21K, especially being surrounded with the vibe and you know, being surrounded with so many people running this race. There's so many bugs flying around right now. Go! Yeah, that's it. Like, I feel like I'm pretty ready. I just got to keep training for this next four weeks. And keep doing what I need to do. Keep recovering. Keep training. Keep eating. Recovering. I'm going to talk a bit more about this later in the video. But, yeah. So, I feel good. 
except for these bugs flying around. There's literally hundreds of them, so let's get out of this foresty area. Let's get on with the video. <laughs> Sylvia on the trunk. Well, that's not bad. Right. Well, you got more room than Emily had. Exactly. <laughs> I got more room than anyone back here, honestly. Oh, okay. Right, lock me in. All right, ready? Ready. Did that hit you? No. <laughs> We're gonna catch we some big fish, fish today. We haven't had a fish this year. Really? It rained all the whole month. Now it's, you know, the end of May, and we're we still having just having gone fishing. Well, it's a good day to catch the first one. Yeah. yeah. How many are we hoping for today? Well, yeah. I think we've got four licenses. Yeah. Hopefully, four fish. Aim for four. Aim for four. <laughs> Codfish like to uh, locate in areas where the bait, bait collects, and the bait collects in back eddies. So if the current's going this way, and you have a hill, then behind that hill is the, is the sweet spot. Mm -hmm. But if the current changes, as, as it does every day, then the, all the bait goes to the other side. So that's the strategy, simply, is to find uh, knobs and holes where you can fish. Let's go, Britt! Yeah. He's so mad. Well, look at his teeth. That's yeah, he's good. Probably like, it's all 20, yeah. Wow. At least 20 minutes for sure. That's impressive. Oh, is this the flogging room? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the basement. Holy shit. I don't want to go in there! <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Oh! Oh, there it is! Let's go! Yay. Holy Whoa. shit! Oh. Oh, wow. Let's go! Monster. That's a big that's boy! A oh. Holy oh, yeah. shit! Yeah, big dog. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> hey! Just a little baby. Just be one. Gotta let him go. A little baby. It's the legal size, right? Yeah. He committed a crime. <laughs> there, he there he goes. I have something. To oh no! What do you mean, no, no? Ah! Oh. Womp womp. <laughs> Day two. Trying to catch a fish. We got two yesterday. We're going for two more. Well, we're trying to get four today. Two to four. So let's get it. Alright, alright. Oh yeah. Get it going. Let's go. I think I got something. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that's a big one. Not too much. Draw oh. left. Draw left. Yo, he's so big. Draw left. Holy shit. Oh. 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 Yeah. <laughs> 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 
Oh my god. Look at that fish. Let's go. What a beauty. Holy Holy crap. It's about exactly 20 pounds. Wow. Holy shit. That thing is. Oh, 20 pounder. Let's go. That's a big boy. This is my first really came out pretty well. I it looks like a 20 pounder. Fish. Those are them. Headgear. Oh yeah. Take you first. Shoot. Centimeter away from bullseye. Savage. I'd say that's like uh, 1230, the very edge of the target. You're on target though. That's hard. <laughs> oh. I'm just gonna load one bullet, give somebody a shot, load another one, give somebody a shot. And it's the old cowboy type gun. So it's a 3030 Winchester, this model. And they used to ride in saddlebags that looked like that on the front of the horse. And it was used because it's got a fairly short barrel, so you'd be out of the holster, aim, fire at the game, you know, whether it's a deer or something like that. You know, you're riding through trees and forests, so it became a very popular uh, field gun. When you uh, close over the bullet, you're, you're ready to fire. Everybody ready behind me? Oh, you're like a centimeter under where I shot. Damn. Nice. Yeah. Top left. Nice. Oh. Cool. <laughs> <Whoa. laughs> there you go. That's great. <laughs> so to wrap up the video, I want to talk about recovery and its importance to training. How I've implemented recovery with the half marathon training. There's so many bugs everywhere. So I'm gonna try to do this. For me, recovery physically just comes down to having a training structure where you allow yourself rest days and time to do your stretching. There are definitely additional things. You know, I could do like cold therapy, ice baths, more stretching, more foam rolling. I definitely haven't been stretching as much as I should. But yeah, like it really just comes down to having that training structure that gives you those that time to prioritize your rest days and your stretching. And then on the other hand, recovery mentally. I think this is a really good example coming away for the weekend, being in nature, no cellular data, no service, and just taking the time away from the busy world, giving myself the time for myself to get my mind off the day-to-day -day stuff, you know, being an entrepreneur. I'm literally on the ball almost 24 seven. So if I don't schedule time off or time to do things like this, I can get to the point of burnout. Also being in the same city, same office, same routine, same environment for months, to me is just not how I wanna live. I wanna do spontaneous things, take trips and all that. You know, when it comes to running and training as well, in order to succeed, you just need to do the boring work. And this is like with business, with life, everything. And the boring work is the most important, but schedule time off, weekends away, helps with coming back with that fire to your day-to-day -day life. So that's it.